Okay guys, today in this video I'm going to go over the basic equipment and software needed to tune throttle body injection. Now the throttle body injection was used uh, since like 1987 or so to about 1995 on General Motors, Chevy, uh, Pontiac Firebirds, all the GM cars that had throttle body injection. Now I'm going to go over all the equipment needed. I'm not going to go into great detail till later on each item, but this will be the list of equipment that you'll need to burn your own proms. You're going to need a laptop running Windows. Uh, it's best to get a Windows XP machine with uh, USB ports. You want a 32-bit operating system. You'll need a ALDL cable. So you can connect this to your computer and do data logging. You can get these on eBay. It's a OBD1 connector on this end, USB on this end, and then it has a resistor in here for certain types of ECMs. Uh, the tune port injection, if you're tuning that, you'll need to switch this jumper. So you can pick that up on eBay or moats.com or .net, I'm not sure which one it is. You'll need a programmer, I suggest getting this one, it's about $100. This one runs directly off the USB port, you don't need an outside power source. And if you're going to use erasable EEPROMs that need a UV light to erase them, like the originals, then you'll need a uh, UV light eraser. This erases your EEPROM, <clears throat> so you can reprogram them. But you can also get uh, flash chips, which is much easier. You don't have, need the eraser. So with the flash chips, these are the numbers. The AT29C256 is discontinued, so you'll find these are more available. And with the flash chips, it's just much easier. You can program them, erase them. You don't have to mess around with the UV light. So that is a list of equipment that you'll need. And then you also need some software, which I'm going to get into in a minute. So if you have a little more money to spend, there's another option, instead of buying all these components separately, you can uh, go over to moats.net, I'm going to click on the GM85 through 95 tab, it's going to bring you up to the onboard one devices. The best thing to buy, if you have the money, it's $329 is the APU auto prom package. Now this has everything you're going to need. It, uh, it, it will uh, burn proms, you can read proms, you can data log, and you can do real-time adjustments. It has an emulator built into it. So that package does everything, but you will need to get a adapter for your ECM so this is where the original chip was in there, the original prom. You take that out and then you're going to have to solder in an adapter to use the APU-1. And this is the adapter right here. It's a G2 memory adapter. It allows you to use the 28-pin flash chips like these here. Uh, but you can also use the APU-1. You'll need that adapter to 28 pin to plug this into your uh, ECM because it won't plug into that. That's a 24 pin connector there. So that's another option, but he has a, a, a lot of other equipment. You can buy things separately if you want. You can just get the a, ADL, ALDL cable. Uh, here's a chip burner. Gonna get 85. 
is an emulator. And there's all, all sorts of other things you can look at. Okay, so if you want to do this on a total budget, you can use the 2732E Proms. This is an original one that would come in your car. It holds four kilobits of data, and there's a like a foil sticker on here that covers a quartz window. So you can see that's the window there. Now, how you that's how you erase the data off of your chip. Put it in your UV eraser for about 20 minutes, and it will erase the chip. So <clears throat> it's going to come inside this holder. And if you do it this way, you should buy several chips and several extra holders. So they just press into the back like this. You can make sure you keep the notch. There's a notch here. And there's also a notch on your prom at the top. You want to make sure those notches face the same way. And they just press in like so. All those little legs are snapped in there now. You want to make sure they're all seated properly, and then you can uh, snap your chip into your ECM. Okay, so to remove your EEPROM from this holder, what you want to do is press down firmly in the middle, take your other hand, and push on the plastic a little bit. You may have to do this several times, but eventually you'll get all the legs loose. As you can see there, they're all loose on that side. And you want to take something like your knife or something, just pry up on it a little bit. And that's how you get them out. Okay, so the only real advantage I see to using the original 24 pin 2732E proms is you don't have to uh, solder an adapter in. So for, if you want to use the flash chips, you're going to need a 28 pin adapter. See the difference in size there. But if you want to go this way, you'll have to erase your chips. You'll have to pry them out of these holders every time you want to make a change. And you have to pull this in and out of your ECM every time you want to make a change. Okay, so the big advantage with the flash chips is you don't need the eraser and you don't have to um, take your chips in and out every time you want to make a change. But you do need an adapter. You'll have to solder in the 28 pin adapter and that'll have a, a zero infer insertion force socket just like this and you can pop them in and out real fast so that's what I did I went with that uh, adapter and I'll show you I'll cut in a clip right after this you can see how that works okay guys this is what the G2 adapter looks like once it's installed in your ECM so it's gonna sit up a little higher you won't be able to put that cover back on but what I do is I have a, another spare ECM and I switch them out. So when I'm done tuning, I'm going to put the original ECM in and program a chip that fits in there. But for now I'm using flash chips. It has a zero insertion force socket. So you can just pull your chip out, swap them out, try different programs, make, <clears throat> make adjustments to your fuel and timing snap it back in there. In addition to all the hardware, you're going to need some software to tune your chip. So this software will read the chip, make changes to the chip, and you can do real-time emulation if you buy the Motes APU1. But you can also do data logging with the software. It's Tuner Pro. You want to get the Tuner Pro RT is right down here. RT stands for real time. And there's some other software you can get. It's called WinALDL. That is just a data logger. And that's free. 
the uh, Tuner Pro is also free. They'd like you to make a $39 donation if you want to register it. But it's fully functional and it is free. So when ALDL, um, then you may want to try some different bins. Bin is the file, it's a binary, it's a file that's on your chip. So you can go to GM ECM. Let's go back here. This is the website. They have a lot of information about uh, throttle body injection cars. There's a link to do it yourself fuel injection website. And then down here at the bottom is a list of files. So you can go to bins, select your ECM, which most likely is going to be the 7747. And there's a bunch of bins you can choose from. Okay, and what else? Uh, there's this website is Gearhead EFI. They have a forum over there. Um, you can also get bins there. So you want to search for that thread. Scroll down a bit. <clears throat> they have a wiring diagram of the ECM. It's kind of handy and all these bins that they have on their website are all good bins and they none of these have a recall on them they have a, some text up here you can see so all these bins have been gone through and none of them are have any recalls on them and they're all labeled so like this one here is a five liter manual bin etc for what they go to. So that's a good source for bins. Moats.net is a really good website. You can do some research there. Uh, he's the guy who sells a lot of the uh, hardware. So <clears throat> that's it guys. That's uh, the hardware and software you'll need to get started. Uh, check out my other videos. I'm going to have some other videos on how to use the programmer. I'll show how to erase chips, program chips, um, how to use some of the software like the uh, Tuner Pro. I'm going to have a video on that eventually. Alright, take care guys.